We gotta do a long stream also. I must put. Um. So we keep this one. You don't keep this one. It's like so good, but you don't keep it. Um. Yeah. The rogues that we are gonna face now are mainly uh, more control. The pleasure is mine. Spectacular. Incredible. Okay, the Mire Keeper. So with this one, you can choose if you either uh, want to make a 2-2 two -two slot. Okay, we go for this first. You always want to try to wild draw first. Oh, oh wow, backsteps are 1-1. One, one. 130 packs, 3 Muckless, 3 Wise Hodge, and finally the Dream. Oh, there are no silences anymore. Everything is so weak to silence now. Still need a wild probe, right? The land me. Do we need it? I think one. One time we need it. So we can also ref next turn. We can attack ref. And that looks good. He's at only at three mana. You're abusing the power of... Um... Yeah. Uh, we might go for a, the slime now. I don't think we really need to ramp up that badly. I don't think people play Flurry anymore. And there we go! Cthulhu to the 8-8, guys. Cthulhu to an 8-8. Isn't that amazing? Okay, that's pretty strong. But now... Ah, we don't have it yet. But now we can make a 4 damage one. So that's good. Killing it, finally. Um, Katoon is 8-8, eight eight, so this one we don't really want to play yet, yeah. The thing is, we are playing a combination of Katoon and uh, the Druid Legendary, so it's not that we can rely on one all the time. Yeah, I'm also gonna try some Astral Druid for sure. I think Astral Druid is quite good. So with this one, it goes to the HP of uh, 10, because it's an 8-8 eight eight now, Katoon. And clear, only with hero power. So I first I go Sylvanas, then he makes the trade with his uh, Ezra Drake in my uh, Sylvanas. And then I can combine it, and then I can make a combination. And a 4-10 is amazing, like a 4-10 is so strong. Like a 4 mana 4-5 is almost already playable. And a 4 mana 4 10 is just. I don't even know, it's so broken. Okay, so he needs to spend 2 mana to clear, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. We can clear that one. And now we have the hero power, so that's. Oh! So good! And now it's 10 10. We play this one, and next turn. Oh my god, next turn we can also make this one already. Getting two four sixes. Why do you play in Druid of the Claw in Taunt form for five mana when you can play two Druid of the Claws for seven mana? That's how we do it. So many wonderful Holy man, I'm so excited. This card is good. This card is pretty good. The Xuril. I'm also gonna test that one today. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. It's so broken, man. I think we make a trade. Otherwise, he can buff it and make maybe a trade. And now we have here the Vendral. But we know that we are running Rest. We are running um, Living Roots. We are running a Raven Idol. And that is the synergy we have. And even if that synergy doesn't go off, it's still in 4 mana 3 5. So with this card, you almost cannot go wrong. But there is still like quite some hidden value in the card. Well played. No, don't concede. People, don't concede. I hate it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Well, that was the first good game, right? Um, I had a donation. LT7042 donating $5. Ties, 130 packs, 3 mug class, 3 years are. And finally, the dream. What do you have for dream? Show me the dream. 
Look at this. Look at this beautiful pack. Wow. Golden Fendral. That's amazing. That's amazing. Congrats, man. Congrats, LT742. Oh, you get five new packs if you win two games. That's quite insane. Okay, Shaman is quite dominating now, and uh, I think. So I know that I'm not running much two drops. I think this is already reasonable to uh, keep. I think we can keep this one already. If we can innervate Bran. I mean, we need early answers against Shaman. I need either this or otherwise Living Roots. What's going on? Yeah, I want to start with the brand here to get already uh, my cartoon at uh, 10 attack so we can make really strong turns from that on. Can even clear here with uh, living roots for two attack coin. Uh, yeah, looks really good. Now we put our like 10-10 uh, is a really uh, key thing for cartoon because it makes some specific cards from us really strong. I'm gonna make this trade here uh, to not give him this valuable trade and then we can just curve out into the Twilight Elder. Totem Shaman. Yeah, I think uh, it's really important to still run double Twilight Elder. It's not the most exciting one. It's also not the best Katoon card, but it makes your curve uh, better. And we are running so much on our 4 slot that we really cannot afford doing more there. Uh, I still think that Unbound Elemental is not that uh, good of a card. And this is why 10-10 is already so important. So we... Oh, um, yeah, Hero Power doesn't do much. Yeah, we just do this. It's fine. I'm gonna keep Bran. Bran is just insane. Can just make this attack, right? You are history. Okay, Lightning Storm. Let's overload it next turn. That's cool. Ah, that hurts. That hurts. That really, really hurts. Did you bring some fish? Yeah, this is a really strong card. Like, 6 mana 5 7 is already really good. Drew of the Claw, four, 5 mana 4 6. Yeah, this is just fine. And buffing your Katoon for plus 3 plus 3 is just insane. I think Katoon Root can really be a thing. Power level is qu quite nice. Okay, Hex. So I have a play where I can deal 2 damage here. And swipe there. But then it dies. Now I just start with this. Just playing this on curve. Because Swipe is not that good here. Yep, getting two, four, six stones. Did you open the 200 packs? Yes, and we had 10 legendaries. Uh, we had three of these. That was the only sad thing. But the legendaries that I had were pretty good legendaries. Okay, that's on the hammer. Quite expensive for him. We also can just do it with our minions now, de dealing with this one. That's a pretty good draw. Because it's just a powerful card. Uh, weapon is for attack. I either go for our um, deal to damage hero power. Yeah, I still like the hero power. It's a really good card, this one. Because it, uh, it's a reactive cartoon card. And but you need that. Like if you don't react on your opponent's board, it gets super scary. Oh my god, I have already But do you see? Like we are not playing all the cartoon cards and it's already in 1919 and that's already so strong. Okay, then it gets a 4 to elemental. Hmm. That's pretty strong. Yeah, an Ezra Drake swipe will be super sick here. Then I kill Wall Board. Um, so I can swipe. 
but it doesn't really clear much. I think dealing 2 damage here, ah, then I did some free kill for that one. But otherwise I'm forced to swipe. I can deal 2 damage here, swipe there. Here up now. Nah, I like uh, just playing these two. Buffing it to 21, 21, Jesus. That is so insane, man. Like, imagine if we get Cthulhu soon, just as a 21, 21. What are that even for stats? Hmm. Earth Elemental, wow. Wow! Synergy. Okay, okay. 21 21. Yeah, we go for that. It's way too much. Can do the attack first here. If I think I hit 4, um, I shall be able. If I have 21 21, it's split over 5 targets with 3 low ones. I shall be able to do 4 here. Yeah, this shot clear board. Like, for sure. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is so freaking broken. Oh my god, guys. 21, 21 on the board, dealing 29 damage before. Oh my god. And now, you better draw the hex, my friend. You win this one. Yep, we do. Cartoon Druid, guys. It's a real thing. Ah, damn. I wanted to, like, uh, take stats, but it's, like, totally bugging out for me. Oh, my God. Another quest. So, let's open the packs first, right? We want to open the five packs. Gain five packs. Let's open it. Man, we can get some cool stuff. Ragnaros! We already have this one. We already have it, but it's amazing. Epic! <laughs> Free packs, guys! What does it like it? Golden Common! Epic! Uh, good packs! We got another legendary! Ragnaros! Ragnaros! The Light Lord! Oh, let's play! Oh my god! I'm so freaking excited to just play Hearthstone! It's amazing! It's just amazing. Yeah, I cannot get tra track stats. That sucks. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, um, I don't think you really keep Raven Idol. I think you can just keep Bran. I think that's totally fine. Ooh, that's an, that's an interesting opening hand here that we have. Maybe we can combine uh, already an early choose one. Um, I think this card has the most potential with the low cost cards. And that's why I'm only playing the low cost cards. A 4 mana 3-5 you cannot really go wrong. And that is why I really like it to put in as an extra card in this deck. I think we can uh, for sure coin out the wild growth because we are curving out this 3 4 5. I can also innervate as a drake here. I don't mind it. I can put the brand on, and if it stays, then I innervate as a drake. Uh, Bran always has synergy, right? I think I should innervate as a Drake here. I think that's fine. Let's put score on deck. Do you guys would like uh, putting score on deck? Do we want that or not? I don't mind. Oh wow, that's a good play. Um, yeah, we can swipe. Okay, we face Katoon. Yeah, the problem for us, what well, is gonna be uh, quite often the problem, we don't have a way to deal with Katoon or with any big minions. The land serves me. Uh, I need this. So I can go Bran with the Discipline Sword. 
Like he's gonna attack this with the weapon, and then I can brand uh, into this. I don't think this card is. Yeah, for him it might be. Whoa, he didn't do it with the weapon. What? I need to keep brand with this, so I will just play this as a uh, fall drop. But next turn we can go brand uh, discipline, and then I get deal. Uh, then I deal 4 damage and it gives my Katoon plus 4 plus 4, right? So that's like so much better. Dealing 4 damage, giving your Katoon plus... I think it's both in battle cry, right? So I should... Um, yeah, this is a... Like for Warrior, this card makes sense. Because it has some more synergy with dealing 1 damage, as you saw already. But for me, this card makes not much sense to play in this deck. We can play uh, other powerful stuff. Do you hear it? Yeah, so do we do it here? And it deals 4 damage and it was plus 4 plus 4, right? Yeah! I wasn't sure if the, the second one was also the battle crowd, but I was... I thought so. Cutting the clear here also. Gives him 2 draws, but... Or Katoon, like, dealing 4 damage and... And this is why Bran, I think you should always play. Because all the Katoon cards are battle cries. And you have so much potential in the mid game with your Bran Bronzebird. Whoa! That's a battle cry! <laughs> Look at this! Look at the defense that we create for Katoon! <laughs> what the fuck is this? And next turn, our Katoon is a battle cry too, so we have 24 damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you think uh, Torsen will be good at this? I think you can play better stuff than Torsen. Why did it attack? He has some 1 damage stuff probably. So one of the 4 6 survives. Are you my master? Are you my master? So it's, uh, it's not that much 12 12, but probably play it. You can also wait with Katoon, but the Katoon clears always. Like, how early you can play Katoon, you should go for it. Because the, you can always play this stuff afterwards, right? Like, even 12-12, like, it doesn't sound exciting, but it's still a hell broken um, as a turn 10 play. So you should always play it. Yeah, we should be able to clear both without uh, having to attack. Dealing 4 extra damage. He has to deal with Katoon. It's important to uh, be the first one having Katoon also on board. Like, Warrior still has quite some ways for dealing with Katoon. The problem for us will probably be sometimes in Katoon Mirrors is that we cannot handle Katoon in any way. I bleed for Katoon. 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 So we need 2 damage and then we have lethal, but no 2 damage. I need to play Sylvanas if he plays Katoon, that's for sure. I have no time for games. Just to clarify, uh, you're not drawing a card this way. So much pain. Yeah, I need to play Sylvanas if he has the Katoon here, because his Katoon is insane. Okay. Looks like we found a pretty good deck, guys. Yeah, I knew that Like, if you can make a combination of Katoon together with the uh, uh, Vendral, you have a really good uh, Katoon drag. Don't think Raven Idol is a keep. Whoa. Yeah, probably mid-range hunter, right? What is this for a hand? I'm not gonna innovate Wild Grove. It can be good if I uh, draw a tree drop, but that's the only reason to do it. Fiery bad. Not bad on this board. Oh my god, what the hell.
Yeah, yeah, but the problem is we are not gonna build for Katoon any soon, 2 and 6 6 or 2 and 10 10. It's like a 6 6 now, and there is no plus 4. I shall play the. Like, it's not powerful, but um, if I don't. It's like a Yeti now. I cannot really, like, just wait there. Still playing double juggler. It's not easy for him to deal with this. Okay, still play secrets. Mad side is rotated out. But that has to be a uh, snake in my opinion. Can start with then ref for one. Yeah, we want the 2-2 two -two here. We don't need extra ramp. Don't even need to trade this with my hero power, it's not needed. Oh, ah, that's disgusting, shit. Ah, oh, that hurts so much. Ah, oh, hit face a bit, please. Oh my god! Oh, it hits so much here. No face it, it won't face it. A good draw. I cannot proc snakes. I need to draw swipe first. So, what is our cartoon now? It's an 11 11. Okay, getting there. But it's important that it gets above 10 HP, uh, 10 attack. That's already just really important. Is he going face? Quite aggressive with uh, only four on board. That's a really bad draw. I I still cannot proc snakes. It only gets worse if I if I uh, attack into it. So it's really I don't have an option. I really have to go face here. So he has four on board. Six. Is there a lethal? Second kill command is no lethal, Nietzsche unleash. Oh wow. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Need some more Katra? Uh, I don't know. Like, we have to double Ezra Drake. Like, our deck is quite. There might. We might need. Um. I can see we might need some extra, I can see that, but 